forward and hopefully this works. Okay. So we'll start with <laughs> the invention of the key. So this was a very long time ago. <laughs> Whoa. 2000 BC? Yep. <laughs> wow. I would not have guessed that long ago. When are dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so then we have um ooh. Hi. hello Hi, Adam. the construction of the trojan horse do you guys know that story yes i know that story that was a great story okay how the uh they were trying like one uh side was trying to get into another side of space and they use like a some sort of fake thing to get inside because they knew they couldn't uh they couldn't get inside they couldn't get inside without being seen so they had yeah, to use exactly. a trojan horse yes excellent yeah so it was, it was given as a gift um during like a you know uh, and then they, they used it like you're saying as a trick to uh get people inside they put them inside the giant horse it got in through the city walls and then they were let in. Um, so then <laughs> do we think that is before the invention of the key or after the invention of the key? Before. After. I'm gonna, okay. yeah, Adam says after, Nolan says before. I'm thinking so the invention before of the because- key... Oh, go ahead, I'm Nolan. Thinking, I'm thinking before because like the church and horses the story of the Trojan horse is so old, like it's myth, mythological old. So I'm th that's why I'm thinking it is kind of, it's kind of old, so. Yeah, so we can like talk about our thoughts here. So it, like you're saying, like it's, it's, it's a really old story, it's a myth. Um, I think something that might be helpful is if you're thinking about the time when the, the, they did the Trojan horse, do you think those people had keys or not do you think they had things that were locked that they used keys for and if they did then it would have to be after the invention and if you don't think they had keys then it would have to be before that no i don't think it's, they don't have key they didn't have keys because if i remember correctly from the story they had to use like these poles to pull up the side of the horse so uh, okay so we got one before, one after. Does anyone else have any thoughts? So we're playing timeline. I know um, that Carteret just joined. Uh, so we have the invention of the key, which was 2000 BC. And now we're trying to figure out if the construction of the Trojan horse was before or after that. So we have one before and one after. Willsway, what do you think, before or after? Okay. After? Yeah. Please. All right, we've got two afters and one before. And then Carteret, what do you think? Um, is it before or after, guys? Yeah. After. 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 Right, yeah. this is after. Yeah, Brian says after. After, Brian, excellent. All right, so we've got four afters and one before. Okay, so majority say after. So let's uh, say that we're going uh, after. And let's find out when it is. It is 1240 BC, so that is after. Hey guys. Hey, RT. Hello. What's up, Good job. Guys? Sorry, I came in so late. 
That's okay. We are playing Timeline. So we just did the invention of the key and the construction of the Trojan horse. This sounds like a hard game. So I might just. <laughs> it's a hard We're all game. Doing together. So, you know, you don't have to worry too much. We're going to um, okay. do our best. <laughs> okay. Well, yes. I'll, just, I'll just watch you guys play it. Okay. There you go. You can participate. So basically, we have the invention of the key was two, 2000 BC, and the construction of the Trojan horse, we guessed, was after that, which it was uh, 1240 BC. And now, Frankie, um, you're going to pick another card and we see where that falls on the timeline. Yep. So if we get it right, it stays on our timeline. And if we get it wrong, then it goes away and we just keep the ones we had. So the Trojan okay. horse is going to stay there because we got it right. And now we're going to go with um, the invention of the sandwich. I would say afterwards because I don't think sandwiches were invented yeah. in BC. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a good I mean, thought. Yeah. So we've got an after. So you're saying after the construction of the Trojan horse? Yeah, I think after the construction of the Trojan horse, yeah. All right. What else? What do you guys think? Before. Yes, sir. Before the construction of the Trojan horse, Adam? Or before the invention of the key? Before. Before the horse? Before. Before the horse. All right. Okay. So we've got one before the horse, one after the horse. Does it ever get easier? Or it's just it's just like you have to guess the years of a thing, or what is it like? Yeah, we're, we're guessing the range. If we think it happened, you know, either in this case, we've got two cards that we know. So we want to say if it was before either of those cards, between those, or after. So okay. earlier um, okay. than. Well, maybe I'll try next week. Sorry about that, guys. I'll next week, okay? Hey, Archie, have a good day. Okay, have a good day. Mm -hmm. Eric, you said after? Yeah. Okay. The Trojan horse. After the Trojan horse. Okay. Brian, what do you think? Where would it fall? Brian, Brian says before. Before. Before the Trojan horse. Okay. Uh, right, Brian? Before. Mm. All right, so that's two for in between. Um, Will's way. What do you... Michael said after. After? Okay. Oh, so we're tied. So yeah. we've got two for between and two for after. <laughs> so I guess we could just find out and see see where it lands. Okay. So it is way in 1762. So much after. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> See, these got the oh. line in. So it is way after. So everyone said after. Excellent. And you know, if you thought before, you, we learned something. I feel like they came <laughs> invention of the sandwich way too late. It should have been earlier. <laughs> what were they doing that whole time? They didn't have sandwiches. <laughs> trying to invent the wheel or something. <laughs> I, I think they were killing fish and and uh, chicken and cows and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, none so of them could go on a sandwich. <laughs> Nobody they knew that they could. They were alternating bites. They could <laughs> I think they would just eat it raw, and they wouldn't. They, they didn't know it could go with the wheat. So uh, the sandwich <laughs> is just barely older than the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Exactly. That's the hair. That's but that, so that, funny. That, that, that depends if it if it was uh, if it was in July 
or, or they were eating tacos. <laughs> they were eating tacos. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So our ooh, our next card. I don't know how I'm gonna like keep up these. So they all make sense. Um, I should have maybe did smaller text. I just want to make sure everyone can read it. Okay. You draw a picture of Mia. Can I annotate? Oh, I can. What if we did like. Yeah. 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 Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> I just want a line. How do I? Oh, there we go. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can kind of like. That's true. You said I can work on computer now. Another line. Whoops. Uh, I don't think I can select things that you've done. Like I'm trying to like actually make a timeline. Uh, I mean, I'm really just worried that the, the text is so much. Well, we could just keep it like this. Okay. Yeah. Next. Mm. All right. So the invention of parchment. A parchment. parchment paper. Yeah. So. Mm. Invention yeah. of parchment. I'm just gonna. We're gonna assume that you know it's the invention. I'm just gonna write parchment. After. <laughs> right on. Mm. Okay, so where do we think this falls? I think it's after. After the sandwich. Ooh, after the sandwich. All right. Brian says before. Before the sandwich. Before. Okay. After. Well, it's waste is after. I think the Magna Carta was before the sandwich. Michael said after. After? Adam, what do you think? Before. So, um, Eric, what did you say? Before at the Trojan. Before the construction of the Trojan horse. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we we had a lot of befores, right? So are we saying? We have uh, one before the Trojan horse, two before the sandwich, and two after the sandwich. Okay, so here, here, or here. So that's a lot, yeah. a lot of different things. But we had the most before the horse? Uh, it's tied for before uh, and after, before the sandwich and after the sandwich. Oh, okay. So we'll, let's just find out then. Got it, Adam. Thank you. Okay, so it is before the sandwich. Before the sandwich. Negative. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I was thinking what you were thinking, Brian. I was thinking before the Trojan horse. I also thought before the Trojan horse. So everyone who said after the Trojan horse, before the sandwich, you are correct. All right. Well, yeah, paper, I, I would have thought parchment was a little bit earlier than it was. Yeah. I said after the sandwich, so I was wrong, so. 
I mean, they had to write all their sandwich recipes on something, right? <laughs> <laughs> the paper was a, the paper was after the sandwich. That's one thing for sure. Okay, I think we can get this one. Okay, so this is um, the first appearance of the tramp, which is like Charlie Chaplin's character. Oh. Uh, after. All right. After? After, right? Mm -hmm. After. After. Yep. After All the right. sandwich. Two right afters. Right. Mm. He was famous in silent movies, right? Charlie? Yes. It's uh, Adam says after. after. Nolan says after. I think it's already unanimous. Right. So we are saying after, because exactly that's a silent movie star, right? Which, um, you know, they had to come later. So that is 1914. So it is most certainly after. He came out the same year as uh, the Titanic? Uh, Isn't that yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so that was great. So if that seems good, right? Do you want to do them in groups of five, and we'll clear these and start an, a new set? Yeah, that's a good idea. You guys did great. That was really good. I think we pretty much got a majority or tied majority correct on all of them. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll start a whole new set of events. Okay. So we're gonna start uh near that let me see if i can adjust this to make this a little better nope i'm already having issues okay <laughs> so the invention of the tank starts in 1915 so we'll start okay. with that knowing that and okay the invention of shampoo Oh. All right. What do you guys think? Was it before or after the invention of the tank? Yeah, after. After. Before. Okay. So we have one before. After. And now two after. Right. Before, uh, right? After the shampoo. Okay. Three after. 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 Yeah. And we can also, knowing that Charlie Chaplin's first appearance was 1914, we can think, do you think Charlie uh -huh. Chaplin used shampoo? <laughs> we have another after. Uh, Eric, what do you think? Did you say after? Oh, I'm sorry, I accidentally muted you. Okay. Or fill it. Huh? Tell her. Um, after the shampoo. Oh, you think the tank is after the shampoo? I think it's after. Okay. All right. So we've got five afters and one before. Hey. So, ooh, it was really quite before 1759 so thank goodness do you guys want to keep the ones we get wrong or do you want to get rid of those until we get one right and keep the ones we get right i thought it was before i didn't after you know i was before keep them you could use them as bench beams. yeah okay so we'll keep it That still doesn't seem like early enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Then think everyone before 1759 didn't have shampoo. Like, doesn't your head get really itchy if you don't wash after like? Well, it just says shampoo. They could have used whatever they used for cleaning the rest of their bodies also in their hair. Maybe just not a Probably, yeah, they product. probably use soap in their hair too. So. Right. Right. That makes me feel a little better. 
<laughs> I mean, there's plenty of people even nowadays that don't even use shampoo. So I don't know. Um, I mean, I use conditioner, but I still count it as like, when I think of shampoo, I think of washing your hair, like as a term. Yeah. I mm. mean, they also had all those wigs and stuff. I don't True. know. True. Different Lots times. Wigs. Let's be thankful we're in times that we have shampoo. <laughs> oh, so this is actually similar. I'm hoping it, I didn't just do a bad shuffle here, uh, but the invention of the hair dryer. Oh, okay. So Carter, it said this is too hard, um, <laughs> but you guys can just guess. I mean, I don't have any idea when any of this stuff was. So far, I think I've been almost always wrong. Yeah. So it's interesting to find out when, when things were invented and made. We're all just making guesses. You don't have to, you know, be right. We're just finding it out. Uh, I would say hmm. after the tank. Yep. After, after the tank? Yep. Yeah. After, after, after the tank. <laughs> okay, so we've got two for after. When did, when did Thomas after. said it? Adam says after. Three yeah. for after. Before. Will's way says before. Um, Eric, you want to make a guess? After? I think it's after the haircut. Ah, so do you think it's after shampoo but before tank? all right so we've got one for before and four for after and one for in between okay so let's find out Ooh, it is uh in between oh eric look at that you were right good job eric excellent i would have thought after as well I will also um, show you guys this picture on here is very old timey. <laughs> all right, right? Yes. All right. 18. Well, I'm very happy that they invented the hairdryer before we invented the tank. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities. No, I like it. We had other we had other concerns. <laughs> I think that's pretty crazy. I would definitely would have expected, you know, your hair will dry on its own. I didn't think that that would be something that came so early. See, I was thinking it was around the same time as shampoo, but it was like um, 50 years later. Yeah, this is like, no, like 141 late. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a long time. It's like, uh, it's like what, late Victorian? Yeah, but like if you're styling, like a hair dryer is like very important. I guess that's we true. And they had really big recently. hair at that time. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, and we're getting. Um, oh man, I have no idea. This is the invention of fencing. So like the sport fencing. Ah, the sword fighting. Yeah. Oh. It's like a. Sword fighting as a sport. I will give think? you the picture really quick if you guys want to see. Sword fighting. When do you think that was? I would say. Hmm. Before. After, because I don't think they had fence. I don't think they had fencing back then. So now that we have three thing, three three years up there, if you guys want to just say before, uh, like one of the specific years or one of the specific I would say things. after tank because I don't think they had fencing. After tank, then. okay, okay. But someone said before, right? I think it's before fencing. With swords, yeah. Before shampoo. Before shampoo, we've got. Okay. 
Eric, you think fencing is wear before tank, hair dryer, or shampoo, or after? Uh, I'd say it's after. Before. All right. Can I change, actually? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think between uh, shampoo and hair dryer. Okay. All right. We've got a lot of options here. Yeah, I mean, we know swords, you know, sword fighting is really old. I don't know <laughs> when they decided to use it for fighting and when they decided to use it more competitively. Adam, what'd you say? You call me old. <laughs> I'm calling the swords old, the sword fighters. Unless you're a sword fighter, Adam, then I'm calling you old too. <laughs> hey. And Robert, Robert, you said after. Um before. Before? before. Yeah, that's my okay. Okay, so we have two for after, three for before shampoo, and one for in between shampoo and hair dryer. Right. So um, before wins majority. Okay. Literally. I think it's before everything as well. I think it's before too. But I, yeah. like I said, I've been wrong. Yeah. Yeah, Fifteen fifty-three. It is before. Ooh. Ooh. Yay. All right. So that that means that Wikipedia is wrong. <laughs> oh. It might be Are tracking you? it in a different way, you know? No, yeah, Wikipedia is definitely wrong, man. May have asked the wrong question. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they're saying it's uh, first started between the 1700s and the 19th. I mean, the 17th century and the 19th century. Oh, well, 17th century would be the 1600s. So. Yeah, so, I mean, it's still a different answer than we have here, but. Mm -hmm. It's technically wrong though because that's the six fencing is in the 1600s. Mm -hmm. so. But Wikipedia is made by people adding information, so it might not, Be but it's still before shampoo, so yeah, yeah, for our purposes, <laughs> again, yeah, priorities. I made the same mistake with the hairdryer too. I was benchmarking it off of Thomas Edison's invention of the light bulb, but actually. Wikipedia says the light bulb was entered by a German in 1854. <laughs> so it could have been, you know. Yeah, it, that is tough. Oh, okay. So this is interesting and one that I certainly don't know the year for, but I think we'll get it right. This is, uh, we're kind of back in Greece again. The Legend of the Minotaur. Oh. Oh. Um. I'm what? saying it's before, before everything. Before fencing, before everything. Yeah, before Look everything. Start, start. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to think back to the Trojan horse. When was that constructed? Uh, uh, I can tell you again. It was uh, 1240 BC. Yeah. Okay, like so, so, so definitely before fencing. Because the Minotaur was, right, Greek legend, just like... Uh, came out of the Trojan horse, right? Exactly. Yeah. I agree. So I think we're pretty safe probably going off of our previous information there and saying before. Sometime probably in the BCs. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> before tank? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyone have anything else they want to say? Before we reveal. No. After. After. Before. Anna says after. After which? The tank. The tank. Okay. So Adam says after the tank. Eric says before the tank, and then we have two for. Uh, before fencing. All right. I mean, you know, why would we even bother inventing tanks if we had miniatures? Right? <laughs> well, 
As, okay. I mean, it's a legend, so I don't really. Care. <laughs> right. It's really um, legend. I don't. Nobody yeah, knows yeah, really. Yeah. It is yeah, 1600 yeah, BC, so it is indeed before fencing. So it was before the Trojan horse too. It was. Oh, yeah. It was before Maybe. all of that. Yeah. Right. Excellent. All right. Mm -hmm. So pretty good. We had uh, things I think that were a bit closer in this one. So yeah, that was a I little harder. Work. And then we had the Minotaur all the way out. <laughs> <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Okay. I will keep these aside. So if we want to reference anything, let me know. But we'll start this up. Okay. You guys are doing really good. Yeah. It's a tough game, but it's, you know, um, you make your best guess, and the more information you get, sometimes the easier it can be. Let's keep and going. This is fun. Some. Okay. So. Oh. So the first time the Loch Ness monster was seen or reported Ooh. to be seen. First time it was, you know, mentioned as uh, a thing it was in 535. Year 535. That's definitely earlier than I would have guessed too. Dang. Wow. I would have thought much later. Um, and just because I like to share the pictures. <laughs> Look, who's that <laughs> thing? Oh, messy. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. So we've got the three musketeers. The book? Yes. Ooh. That's so when was it written? After the Loch Ness Monster, I would say. Before. Okay, Robert says before. No one says hi, after. Hi. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to join. All right. Okay. Eric, Adam, and Brian all say after. Yeah. All right. Okay. Michael said before. Yes. All right. All right. Are you ready? So we have four after and one before. It is after oh, 1844. Oh, man, I'm like way off because I was like, oh, it's like 1500s. <laughs> Wait, when Wait. was parchment? <laughs> I guess it should have been after that. That was like a, a negative 400 or something, was it? 200? Okay. Okay. That was, we still would have been okay. Negative 200. All right. So we've got three musketeers at 1844 and Spotting Nessie at 5.35. Okay. We had to read a little bit of Three Musketeers in my French class. So I had a roundabout thought, but. Yes. Oh, okay. This is kind of fun. Um, the invention of the alarm clock. Oh. Before. Before? Yes. I'll give you a picture of what that alarm clock looked like. Ooh, uh, yeah, I would say before too, before the Three Musketeers. Yeah. Okay, and, so in between? Yeah, in between. In between, right? <laughs> okay. Michael, what do you think? And Eric, what do you think? Long club. Long club. Long club. Yes, sir. Like After. Okay. After. They, they probably use sundials before lock <laughs> All right. Sundials. Yeah. Uh, so we have one before, two after, and two in between. This is tricky. I think it's going to be fairly close to where the three months into this year is my guess, but I could be very wrong. I'm going to say after, too. Yeah. Awesome. I'm thinking after as well, but I, I don't know. Let's find out. Ooh, it was really close. 
1847. Oh, geez. Wow. Yeah, we it got aged. It so was after. afterwards. Wow. Just after. <laughs> does it say who invented it? <laughs> it does not. It, we just get the years here. Some little old switch. It's not that full. Have you made an alarm clock with a beard on it? Okay. So now we have the invention of soccer football, mm -hmm. depending on where you are in the world. All right. Where do we think it goes? After Maybe this little guy's playing soccer. Mm -hmm. Is that a color mm -hmm. photo? Um, all the pictures are color regardless because they're illustrations. Uh, mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Eric, where do you think it goes? Do we think the three musketeers knew how to play soccer? <laughs> if, after the alarm clock. I'm not even sure what country invented it, to be honest. Before three musketeers. Before three musketeers. Okay. Oh, soccer and football. After mm -hmm. the three musketeers. Okay. Well, oh, no, okay. after the alarm clock, rather. After. Okay. So we've right. got four yeah. for after the alarm after clock. The alarm clock. Okay. And one for before the three musketeers okay i'm yeah. gonna guess uh i'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. guess before three musketeers me too before. that's what i'm feeling let's find out Ooh, it is after oh man you would be wrong aaron <laughs> i'm not let's surprised go. let's go <laughs> got it that's tough. Uh, yeah. Get it right. I feeling it would go after your alarm clock. Wouldn't it make sense if they wouldn't be able to wake up for soccer. For soccer practice. Right. Soccer I, practice. Was, I was going to say that too. Like, do we think the first soccer <laughs> play had alarm clock? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. I guess before alarm clocks, like things operated differently. Like, how would you wake up if you had to be somewhere really early? Mm, exactly. Without an alarm clock, how did they do it before alarm clock? Anyone know? I think the game is. I think they had to go to bed. Mom made breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <It's cold. laughs> I think they have to go to bed early and then wake up early. Yeah, maybe you didn't have anything uh, <laughs> you needed uh, to do before daylight, and then you just had to be uh, up. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Rooster crowed, right? The rooster crowed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your own personal it was a rooster. The tea bag. All right. All right. I like it. A tea bag. Okay. I would say so, after the alarm clock. Wow. for the soccer so this is specifically like when people were using the tea bags so they would have had tea before this year but they didn't they did it loose so we want to know specifically when they started using tea in the tea bag i think it's sometime between the three musketeers and soccer okay. before the three musketeers right right before but that, that, I think it's definitely before soccer. I think. Okay. Michael, before or after the Loch Ness Monster? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, before, yeah, before, before, right? <clears throat> before. 
Okay, so far everyone's got, we have different answers. We have one for each spot. <laughs> I'm going to so say. I have actually, I know I've seen this year. I remember reading about it being invented. It was not for use as a tea bag at first. It was something else that they were using it. And then it, that became its use. And of course, I still don't even remember. I remember being surprised by it but I don't remember what it was. I'm going to say before Three Musketeers. I think, I think it was actually, oof, it was either, I think it was later than I thought it was. I'm going to say it's after everything. I'm going to say after soccer. Adam okay. too. I don't know. I don't know. Adam says after two. Yeah. Right, let's, with me? Let's we could be wrong together, maybe. <laughs> no, we could be right together. 1908. 1908, right? Whoa. Yeah, because that was a lot later than I thought as well when I learned it and forgot it. But tea bag. There, there's a tea brand called a tea bag brand called 1908, right? Oh, is there? I think so. Well, that would be why, I guess. I haven't heard that, but that's an excellent way to remember. You probably just put tea leaves in the water before, right? Exactly. Yeah. Like some kind of strainer. Used a strainer, right? I'm wondering if I could see really quick. Because I remember it was they you it I, it wasn't like meant for that initially. Silk pouches. It was in silk pouches. Oh, he just was sending samples. That was it. So it was oh. invented in New York. And Thomas Sullivan, a New York tea merchant, sent samples of tea to his customers in small silk bags. And they just put the bags right into the teapot, thinking that's how they were supposed to do it. And he didn't even mean that. <laughs> he wanted them to take it out of the bag. But they were just like, this is fine. I'll do this. And then they were like, oh, wow, that no, worked. No, wait. Okay. How did they have the tea party in the 1700s? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a whole, bunch of, whole bunch of loose tea. Bunch of loose Great. tea, yeah. All right. Excellent job, everyone. So we'll see how far we can get in our next set. We might not get all through them all, but those were pretty good. And they were, again, really close in years. So excellent job. Oh, okay, so this is funny because we just are talking about alarm clocks. So we'll start by knowing that the sundial was in 1500 BC. Mm. Okay, so now we have, okay, playing cards. Oh. the time at the... Four. Five. Four. Um, okay, so Michael says before, and Eric, you say after. Before. Adam says before. Say hey, after. After. Here's the card if you want to see who's playing. Okay. Afterwards. No one out. says after. Okay, so we've got two before, three after. I'm gonna go with after as well. I'm no. also gonna go after. after. Before. They, you know, they probably use that sundial to make their poker game. <laughs> exactly. All right, so this is uh, pretty early, 900. So oh, it is okay. I, I would remember. not have guessed that early, though. Yeah. I, don't yeah. Have a good I wouldn't have time. guessed that early. Yeah. <laughs> I have no good grasp on time. I just, I just asked Siri, and it was actually 900 is right, 9th century, but in China. <laughs> yeah, the picture, that's why I showed it, because it looked... Uh, yeah, it's hard to see. Like It might have been in Asia. Um, all right. 
Oops. Oh, this I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Depends on what it is. Uh, this is the invention of uh, hypnotism. Oh, I, 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 uh, so excellent picture that might help. They've got wigs. <laughs> I'm thinking after the plane cards because I don't think they have, I don't think, I don't think it would be that early if people had wigs. Yeah. Mm. Okay, say that again, Nolan. When do you think it is? After the playing cards, because if people had wigs, I don't think it would be that early. Wait. Anyone else have any other thoughts? So hypnotism, where they're trying to... Uh... Frankie, what kind of cards, what kind of cards are those? Um, the game is yeah. called Timeline. Oh, it's a, oh, it's cool. So it comes in like a little tin and there are different versions that you can get. We're playing from the diversity deck. Uh, I will say after playing cards. Okay. After playing cards. After. Yes. yes. All right, so far we've got three after. Okay. Before. And before, before. Playing cards, Eric? Uh, Eric? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say after as well. Yeah, I'm going to say after. These look like it's, I don't know, definitely uh, after the playing card to me, the way people are. And I think just the thought of I don't know, like doing things related to psychology in that way feels like it would. Yeah. Be well, that's what I was thinking of magicians too, which probably yeah. pre, pre, probably predate playing cards, but actual hypnotism, you know, the science I would think would be after 900. Okay. So it was uh, after, and it is uh, 1776. Uh the same, same year as the same, the same year, year as us. Yeah. The same year as the. Maybe we hypnotize America's birthday. England to uh, become free. <laughs> yeah, an stage. Same year right. as the Declaration of Independence. <gasps> oh, this is something I have no idea. And I will be excited to learn. The invention. Oops of currency oh. so like any kind of money it is showing coins so like the first time people used coins uh or something of a kind to like pay for it's goods wrong. i think it's well mm, i think it's before hypnotism before. Definitely before hypnotism, because in 1776, I think people had to use something in order to buy. Uh, they had to use something in order to buy all the meats and everything. Yeah, and here I think we actually have some excellent cards here in that we have the invention of the playing card. You think they were playing for money? Way in which they would need cards. some kind of currency, probably. Maybe. I mean, Jesus complained about the what it was the money changers, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely way before playing cards. I think it I think it's after a sundial, but right, Brian. I think it's because even in Rome, they had, right, the Roman emperors, they had their yeah. images, images printed on the coins and everything. Yeah, oh. yeah I think taxes. Romans taxes. had taxes, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Robin, Robin Hood had taxes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Robin Hood. I don't think Robin Hood was related to the Romans. Though, so. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's a oh, no, he had tax. He had a sword. So, right? he was he was fencing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it all comes together. I think we have um, 
one for before hypnotism and three for before playing cards, I think. I think that sounds about right. right. And I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna say before sundial. Ooh, I'm gonna go with the majority here and say after sundial before playing cards, but I wouldn't be surprised if I'm wrong. All right. Okay, no, so that is where it lands. Um, and it is 680 BC. Wow. Let's go. I was way off. <laughs> I just feel like there was always some sort of exchange for goods. I mean, I, was I mean, it could have been like, you know, I will give you three cows or something, you know, before there were money. I'm thinking I'm, I need to think more specifically about and stop like, like currency means physical currency and shampoo means physical shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this will be our, probably our last one here. Um, so let's do our best. And it is the invention of the game chess. Ooh. Which is interesting. So we've got cards After, on there. I think before hypnotism, because I believe they had some, they used some, some, some form of, like between playing cards and hypnotism. Okay. See, didn't they used to use chess for like war? Like chess was like used to predict other people's moves. I'm gonna say. Oh. Yeah, I think that I, I think that I think that's how it was. Definitely, be, definitely before playing cards. Question: I think it might have even been before currency. Ooh, okay. And um, when we know, well, I'm not sure. It looks like on this image, at least, that it is our standard same pieces that we know today. So they would have like knights, kings, queens, bishops. I agree and, with Aaron. And that's, right. Yeah. Castles, knights. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're all. That all feels very medieval to me. I agree yep. with Aaron. I think they were used in the war to predict other people's uh, moves. Okay. All so right. Where... So we've got uh, one before playing cards and one before sundial. Yeah, we, we say before playing cards too, Brian, right? I'm going to say, I'm going to say in between currency and playing cards, Adam is the king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when were you invented, Adam? <laughs> I'm going to go Maybe. with between cards and hypnotism. That's my I guess. agree. Okay. I think it's between cards and hypnotism. All right, this is so tough. <laughs> okay, ooh, I was wrong. Aaron, I believe you are right. And everyone who said that same time frame, 570, before playing cards, after currency. Wow. All right, like a significant amount of time before playing cards too. Yeah, the game itself mm. to me felt like it would be, but then the the pieces, I don't know. I felt like I wasn't sure. But then I guess the playing cards are the same kind of thing because there's kings and queens mm. and same stuff. Yeah, king, queen, ace. All right, we had a, right, a pretty guys. big um, timeline there, negative. <laughs> uh, 1500 yeah. BC to 1776. That's cool. Right. All right, guys, you did awesome. Excellent job. All right, so how did you guys think? Did you think this was fun? Um, you know, yeah. learning some different timelines. Was it too difficult, and you wouldn't want to do it again, or would you be interested in trying it again next week? No, we liked it, right, Brian? It's fun. It was fun. Right? So think of it. Okay, so we could play this again next week. Yeah. Adam likes Quiplash. Okay, yeah, Adam, we'll we'll try and get Quiplash in. I know some people have issues signing on to the games like that, but we'll make sure we get one in for you. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. This was a lot of fun. I definitely learned a lot today. 
Um, yeah. And I hope everybody has a terrific Thursday, fantastic Friday, and a wonderful weekend. Okay. Bye, you everyone. See you Bye. guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.